Hey guys, it's me, Tammy, with Southern Angels Boutique. I am showing you my really small craft room, and this is what I've been doing. So that's why you haven't been seeing me do videos. Um, I've been rearranging, reorganizing, and getting some destashes done. And I'm sorry about the light from the window, but I'm standing at my doorway. Um, that's my work table, as you see, with a bunch of stuff on it. It was over here closer to the window and I thought about pulling it this way like that and making like a u-shape and I'm going to try that and see how that works I'm not sure because then I feel like I've got wasted space right over here and um, so I don't know and I feel like there's something wrong here I <laughs> say I'm I don't know how this room is just odd shaped to me um and I've got my shelving right here. Now, my papers on these in these crates, because I never could afford a real paper thing. And I bought those crates last year when the school stuff came out. I think at Walmart or Target or somewhere. And they were really cheap. Like a couple of bucks. See, this one's leaning and like warping. And I don't like that. Now, I tried them over here in the corner like in a tower but it seemed like they were like gonna tumble you know away from the wall yeah you see my shit hi <laughs> and that scared me so i thought okay well maybe i'll put them on top of these shelves but like i said now it seems like these are warping over here so i don't know i've got to figure out maybe i can bungee get some bungee cords or uh those zip ties that's what i'm trying to i've got some zip ties you know, maybe I'll do that because it just seems like it's just this one. I don't know why. So I may do that and leave it. I don't know. Because um, it's not bad. I need to cover the boxes right here. I just have these two grouped in the boxes. The rest I had to end up taking out of the box because it took up really more room. Um, but I like the way I've got it because I can... You know just file through and get to my paper quickly well these are in boxes but i cut the ends off um but i can get to the paper easily if i need to put the paper back i can put it back easily i i like to do things quick and easy i don't like to fuss too much i don't like to fiddle around i like to spend more time crafting than fiddling you know what i'm saying and um, if I have to fiddle too much, I won't put it back or I won't look for it. Especially putting it back. I won't put things back. And that's what I'm trying to get my craft room fixed up to where I put things back. Because I have been really bad, you know, since I've lived here with not putting things back. So my whole house right now, there, there's, I mean, I've got some things in these right now. I'm oh, sorry you know, my wood stuff in like these. The rest of these containers are basically empty. I did go over there. I'm sorry if I'm moving too fast. Um, in those containers, I did put stuff in there, but I'm probably off to redo them because I did things by color. And I think I'm off to redo them. I may try and put a, my things by color right here. I want to do things by color, like I did my paper, Sorry, I hope I'm not making y'all dizzy. Um, right here. Um, I want to do everything by color. I think I might be able to work my brain around that a little easier. Um, at least most of my stuff. Uh, because... I've had things separated and put things, you know, up on the shelves and, you know, and I, I just, I didn't seem like I was using it as much. Now, my inks I'll still have up and certain things and my paints and some of my things I'll have like that. But, like, my laces and, and, well, let me show you what I'm talking about. Like, my bling I don't want, just bling. And 
flowers, I'm not going to have with flowers. And, and lace with lace. And ribbon with ribbon. And you see what I'm saying? Um, pull one of these out. Yeah, y'all you, you, can see. It's, my closet was clean at one time. And I had to find something. And everything started falling out. So now I've got to get all this fixed. Right there. And get it put back. So I may end up having to redo my closet a little bit. It's just a mess. Okay, see this? This is my orange and yellow box. And it's filled. See, I've got brads in here. Uh, trims. Some ribbon. You know, anything that's yellow or orange like that. Uh, I've got in there some buttons. Anything that's the color. Some flowers. It's in here. But some I've got really a lot. So I may have to move this stuff. So I'm thinking I may move it over in those drawers. And then I want to have a place to have Christmas stuff, fall stuff, spring stuff, you know, stuff like that. Because then my brain will work better that way, I think. Anyway, right now what I'm getting ready to do is I've had this chair since last year. Never got it put together. And I'm going to put it together. Try to put it together. So, I'm about to do that. And when I get it together, I'll show you. I'm not going to let y'all sit here and watch me wrestle with it forever. So, when I get done, I'll show you what it looks like. Alright. I'll be back. Okay, guys. Well, we almost got the chair put together. Or, I should say, Shelby's almost got the chair put together. Wave to everybody, Shelby. Say hi. Hi. Yep. Shelby came in from work and she ate something. And just in time, I was getting ready to put the chair together. And she came up and helped me, which was a good thing because that thing over there with the wheels, I like to never got the wheels in. And she got them popped in. I tell you what, that was a booger to get together. I couldn't pop them wheels in for nothing. And you would have thought it was easy. But it wasn't. So then she just kind of took over and I let her. So she's putting the rest together for me. So they really don't have directions. This is what they call directions. It's just like a diagram. So, so if you're dumb like us, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> but I mean, it looked pretty easy. How is this supposed to go on here? Stop. I'm not turning this off. So anyway, now she's just trying to figure out this little plastic thing that goes on the that. back. Does it just snap on or something? Well, looks like it just I don't snaps on. know! So anyway, we'll show you what it looks like once we finish. We'll be back. Yay! She got the chair put together! She's good for something, after all. And it's not falling apart. Now I need to sit in it and see if it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> I'm dizzy. Well, that's because you're spinning in a chair. I want one! Yeah, they come in blue, too. At least now I know how to put the thing together. Yeah, so there's my new chair. Hopefully it's more comfortable than that other one. It doesn't have the army things, though. Well, no, that costs you more. So. I don't think you need them, though. But I was concerned about my back, because the other one kept hurting my back, and I kept putting pillows. It pretty good on my back. And the pillows still didn't help, so. All right, guys. Well, there's my new chair. Now I've just got to figure out if I'm going to keep my table here. It's not quite in the middle of the room. Well, I don't really want it in the middle of the room. Because i got a lot of space I mean, right here. And I don't really need that much space. a lot space. of space right here. Maybe bring it more this yeah, way. Yeah, because I need more space this way to be able to walk through. So I can put things right, in and here. And move it this way. Yeah. So... I gotta figure this out. But the only thing is, I want to be able to get to these. I feel like my we should inks. have this here. This needs to be somewhere else. But that's where I'm putting my sewing machine. 
I feel like I should go over there. So, I've got to be able to get to my sewing machine. Oh, you were talking about moving this desk. Yeah, I was going to switch them out. What do you mean? Put that other one downstairs up here, but... Okay, what it, are we going to do with this? We need to get rid of this. No, I was going to use that one. But if I move it, I know it'll fall apart. And it's nice and sturdy right in this little... It ain't area. sturdy, look at that. It's sturdy in that cubby spot. I say let's get rid of it. So, see I need to keep my inks where I can get to them. So I have to move those. But see, I don't know if I put them over here if I can really get to them easily. So I don't know. Who's like going to do that one? I might put them on that wall. Mom, I have a headache. Well, let's see. As I said before, my chair is put together. And I don't think I'm going to be able to lift my work table. Because my chair doesn't come up any higher than this. So when I sit down, I'll be too low. And I was kind of wanting to have something where I could stand or sit. But this ain't going to work. So, I'll have to figure something else out. Yeah, that's a mess, I know. Because uh, I'm going through stuff. I was taking stuff out of this. Because um, I just had a bunch of stuff in that. So, I'm kind of like cleaning stuff out of there. Uh, I took stuff off of here and was cleaning that off. And then, of course, put stuff back on it. But, um, I got my silhouette up here. And then put my speakers up there. Uh, I don't know if that printer is staying up there or if I'm going to move it. Uh, we have actually a new printer. And it's a, uh, what do you call it? A wireless? Uh, this printer is, like, ancient old. But I like this printer, this HP printer, a lot better than the Canon that my daughter bought. I think the color is better in it. I think this one also, the ink lasts a lot better. I, the ink's maybe, excuse me, a little more expensive. I don't know what it costs for the other one. She didn't tell me. But the ink lasts much longer on this printer. She said she couldn't find it. But she looked at Target. She, I don't know why these people in this family look only in one store. Like my husband goes to Kroger for everything. And she goes to Target for everything. I mean, I always went to Walmart and got it. I don't know if Walmart still has it or not. But I'm sure you can find it online. Um, if you guys know, this is the printer. Uh, it's a HP OfficeJet 5600. Uh, if y'all know... Of where I can get that ink for it uh, let me know in the comments below because it's been a while since I've gotten ink for it because like I said when I've had ink for it it lasts forever but um, we couldn't get it to work and I found out that's why it's out of ink so I need to get some black and colored ink for it um, but I remember, it wasn't really that bad. Uh, so, I think there were like 20 bucks a piece, maybe. But I know if Walmart didn't carry them, I'm sure I could get them online somewhere. I think I remember seeing them online once a while back. But anyway, um, I told my husband I would like to get ink for it because I think the color is a lot better for this printer and it lasts longer as much as I like to print out the stuff like my ephemera and stuff off of um, Pinterest and if I want to pit, especially do pictures I know it came out a lot better um, so and, it, and I've got a cord I, if my printer if my things right here computers right here I mean it's easy to plug it up that's why I'm keeping my cameo right there. I mean, I really don't like this desk. My daughter was like, why don't we get rid of this desk? Get another one. But, I mean, it's here. It's too much trouble to try and get it out of here. And another one in here. With everything through that little hallway. And up the stairs. And 
down this it's just too much trouble so i'm gonna leave it for now you know maybe in the future we'll do something different but for now i just don't have the time or patience for it so anyway uh this is what i was working on after we got the chair fixed i need some kind of things to put in these boards though i was doing all my colored things like all my white stuff this is uh browns neutrals silvers and gold pinks and reds and i don't really like the way i put them in here and then here's what else i'm putting in here um i really wish i had some better kind of storage system in for these things this is my clays which i'll have to get them out of there since i'm going to be using that that's actually a long thing storage thing on wheels and then this is a different one that i thought i'd try stacking on top i think it's going to be okay um I'm seeing if that's going to work because I didn't know if I'd do all that over there or over here. So I'm debating do I like the deeper drawers or do I like the long skinny drawers? Um, yeah, I'm still debating do I like this U shape here, which I think I do. I kind of like it. Um, I just, I still would like another one of these, um, let me back up, one of these little things, I know it's hard to see with all that stuff, but the, um, white cubes, uh, I think I paid like $35 or something, and then plus $5 for the purple baskets, uh, so I was thinking about getting another one because it would fit perfect. I already measured right there under the window. Um, I would have room to walk through and everything. And then I would have some, you know, like a little counter space that I could work right here. But I would have no room for a chair. And I really want another chair in here, so if someone wants to come in here and sit with me. So, I'm really in a dilemma, guys. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to go farther up. I mean, I can't do much more over here. You know, and I, I've got to have a, some extra wall space. I mean, of course, I've got further up. You know, to put projects because... I want to be able to see, and I've got it above there too. I want to be able to put projects from my subscribers because that's one of the actually a challenge I was going to have because I want something decorative. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to leave this here. Um, I don't know if I want to leave that all like that. Um, this thing here, I do know, is going to go probably on top of the purple thing, I think. Either that or on top of the white thing. I don't know, but I know it's going to go up on something to give me more height. Uh, and there's my cart. So, I don't know what I'm putting on there yet. Actually, I'm thinking about, because all that painting i thought i was going to keep it like that but i think all of that's going to come off and uh go somewhere else and i think what i'm going to do with my cart maybe is keep it free for like because i've seen some other people do this I've, I've been watching how people do different you know their carts 
Roscock carts and they're different. I don't, I can't afford one of those carts. So this is just a cheapy cart that I've had like forever. And I've got a different one that's almost falling apart. It's in my kitchen. I keep like the bread and potatoes and onions and different stuff in our kitchen. Bananas and stuff in it near my pantry. Um, but this one I thought, well, I want this one in my craft room. So anyway, uh, I think what I'm going to use this cart for, and this one's pretty sturdy, but anyway, I think what I'm going to use it for, actually, is holiday stuff. I'll switch it out for different holidays or seasons, whatever, so that way I can wheel it over and use it in whatever I'm working on for that time of the year. It'll be out. I don't have to worry about dragging stuff back and forth. All the stuff will be right there on the cart. And then when I'm ready to change out for that next holiday or season, whatever, I can put everything back where it goes and switch out and bring out the next holiday or season, whatever. So then that's what I'm going to do with it. I think that will make life a little bit easier. And because um, I've seen some people do that. So I may try that and see how I like it. Now I've got to get... I'm out of breath. These things down and move them over there. That shelf needs to come down actually and go in my kitchen and I've got a white one that I want to paint purple and put in here. And then I've got this purple shelf that needs to be hung and I've got some other little purple shelves over on the floor over there. So I've just got to figure out where I'm placing everything. Um, because I've moved things so many times on these walls, it's not even funny. Uh, as far as on the walls, but um, I don't want to do anything. There's a couple more. There's another shelf I need to paint. Um, I should have done that. I already really gotten all my painting finished. Uh, but anyway, this is what I've been doing and, um, you guys got any suggestions, y'all can comment below that wire thing right there is what I got from Michael's when they had it on sale. I think it was last month. I bought it. I was waiting for it to go on sale. And I finally got it, and that is for my paints. So, I've got to figure out where I'm going to set that. I really would like it on my table here somewhere, so that I can just have it close to me, spin it around. So... Anyway, now it's just trying to figure out, and I've got a lot of little drawers and things like that. Um, I've got to figure out how to place things, um, get to things. Like I said, this was supposed to be for my sewing machine. So I really need to see how big that sewing machine is. Um, yeah, it, it's complicated <laughs> um I know I could down there on those shelves they're really deep but I could put like um like some of these um bearer tools I haven't even opened them taken them out of the box yet but I've got that uh Xyron creative station my pasta machine um so I haven't even gotten to use this stuff yet because I bought it when I found it on a good deal and then just left it in the box until I could get into my craft room to use them. So, um, anyway, now I've just got to figure out where to put everything. 
but I've got stuff scattered all over my house, and now I've just got to figure out what to do with it. I mean, some of it's recyclable stuff, and it's junk, and I'll be throwing it out, I'm sure. But I've just got to figure it all out now. Oh, excuse me. And I'm tired before I can ever get going. Um, and I've got these stashes too, and don't know if I'll have more or what by the time I get through with this. So, let me get busy here. And, um, like I said, if y'all have any suggestions on anything to help me in this room, because I feel so lost. Yeah, that's inside of my closet, and that's going to have to be redone. You know what, though? I'm thinking I'm going to move this butterfly thing that's hanging. I'm going to probably move that and put my punches right here so they'll be closer to me. Because I'm not going to want to get up, go all the way around, over there, on that door, <laughs> and get a punch, and then go all the way back around and put it back. That's going, yeah. I mean, that's, I won't mind getting up and going to this door back and forth. So, yeah. I'm definitely going to move them over here. And I'll move that little thing. So, time to get my little handy-dandy drill out. So, let me get busy. And I will update with y'all later on. But this is why I haven't had time to get any videos done. And I've got several videos I am behind on. I've gotten some mail I need to do and um, all kinds of things. Uh, but I just have not had a chance to get anything done because I have really been working hard. I cleaned everything out of this room and then was trying to, and then I've been bringing stuff back in slowly and trying to find a place to put things. And um, I don't want to really bring anything else in here until I can take care of what's sitting around in here right now. That's what I'm working on. And when I get this cluttered mass put away, I'll bring in some more and clutter it up and put that cluttered mass away. So, anyway, I'm sorry I haven't been making any videos, you guys. But y'all bear with me. I'll try and keep y'all up to date on all this. And, um... I hope everybody has a great weekend, blessed weekend, and uh, like I said, if y'all have any suggestions on anything, y'all can comment below, and um, tell me what y'all think. Um, so, because I'm my real dilemma is what I'm doing over here. Because I kind of want another one of those things. So I'll have a work area. But then I kind of want to bring in back in that old office chair. I had a folding chair. It would work too. But I know I need either that folding chair. Which would fold out even bigger. I either need that or the office chair. I need another chair. Because I would like to have a place for somebody else to sit. You know, my daughter, my husband... Anybody, anybody that wants to come in here and sit and chit-chat, it would be nice to have a place for somebody to sit. So, I got to figure it out. So, I definitely, I think I'm going to have to move this and move that back down like I had it. And then it can be rolled out when I need to get to that. I think is what I'm going to do. So, or... I don't know. I also could put this one on top of the black one and make it go higher up. What do you guys think? And then put this one uh, down lower maybe somewhere. Um... I don't know if it'll fit on top of this one. I know this will fit on top of it. Um, I don't know. Y'all give me some suggestions. And um, tell me what you guys think. Uh, 
Should I put this? Should I leave it like that? Let me back up. See, with the small white one on top of the big white one? Or should I put that small white one and this white thing together somehow and move the big white one on top of the black one over there? Would that be better? You think that would give me more room? So, y'all, y'all, help me out. Give me some comments below and tell me um, what y'all think. Help me figure this out, because like I said, I really would like to get another one of them things to put here, but I want to figure it out. Oh, you can really see the damage to the wall where we had a leak. Look at that. It's still soft. It's right there. Yeah, we had a leak. Water was coming in through the roof. Can leak through here all the way downstairs. Oh, good thing we're just renters. <laughs> uh, but like I said, I want to be able to have some kind of space where I can have some kind of seating. So, that was one reason why I had my table pushed that way. But then I was, I mean, I could do that again and then have the chair over there. But the reason I did it like this was so that I could have my little section and have my computer. Here and I wouldn't be so far away from my computer. I didn't want to have to hop from chair to chair from my computer. Because I work with my computer as I'm working with my crafts. I'm sure a lot of you guys do that. So, I don't know. Y'all can tell me, should I keep this like this? Or should I put the table back over there and have an open floor plan? And then bring the other desk chair up. That way. Then I'll have two chairs bumping. So I'm going to go load this now. And I hope you guys will give me some good comments. Okay. And suggestions down below. This is probably going to be a little long video here. I'm already on 21 minutes. And I got just on this part here. Um. And then I got other sections to add on before. So, yeah, it's going to be a long video. And it may be kind of boring. So, anyway, I hope it's not too boring. But, um, like I said, y'all, I really need some suggestions. Just, just help me out, if you would, please. You guys that have already gone through this and been through this, I don't know. My brain's just not working. And like I said, you can see the odd shape of this room. And that's what I'm dealing with, that little alcove there. And that's what I was trying to deal with. It's, it's hard to see on camera. But it's got that little alcove. And when the door is in like the corner of the room. I mean. <laughs> so this is not your typical square room. You know, like the closet sticks out of the room. It's a tiny little closet. I'll deal with that later. So, anyway, this is what I'm dealing with. You know, I don't even know what size this room is. It's tiny. <laughs> it's like the size of a walk-in closet. That's what I always say. Y'all, some of y'all probably have walk-in closets larger than this. But anyway, if y'all will help me out. Tell me some suggestions y'all might have. And, um, I'm going to go load this right now. And, uh. Give me a thumbs up, if you would please. Comment, subscribe, um, and uh, share. Thanks for watching. I love y'all, and God bless, and have a blessed weekend. Bye now.